Hi guys, how are you? I am so excited today. I don't know if you watch my Poundland shopping haul the other week, um, but um, I bought the shepherd hooks. I don't you remember? I bought four of them, there's two packs of two. And I said that I bought them because there was something I wanted to do, but I hadn't got a key part to do it. But I got these because if I didn't get them when I got them, I might not get them. Does that make sense? Well, today I've acquired the other item that I needed for this project, and it is a teapot. Here it is. Now, you can use any old teapot, um, and I did put a request out for anybody that had a teapot they didn't want, let me have it. And if it wasn't white, I would have sprayed it, or painted it, or done something to get it white anyway, or pink, I would have done. So, what I'm going to do, because this is a gift for a friend, and so you need a teapot, any type of teapot. Let's say you want a plain surface, or actually if you like the pattern it already is, leave it as it is, okay? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a garden light out of this teapot. Has got a lid. Um, you also need some lights, and in Poundland, um, I bought these in the same hall as the Shepherd's Hook, but you need these really fine micro lights. Um, they're called 20 micro lights. So if you're looking for them, they're the ones you need, okay? And the reason you need those is, I don't, know if, don't think I can show you, oh yeah, there you go. Can you see the hole on this teapot is so tiny. Now some teapots have a proper big hole and it's not a problem, but most will have that to stop the tea getting in, okay? So you wanna try and avoid that. Um, now actually, where did they get this teapot from? I don't know actually. It doesn't really matter, it was a free beat, so I'm really chuffed, so great. Now, what I want to do is spruce it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do some decoupage, and I've got these beautiful napkins I got from BMM ages ago, um, with little flamingos on, can you see? And I just think this would be really, really summery and really bright for the garden. So what I'm gonna do is cut some shapes out of this. Um, so I've got the flamingo as the key part, because I don't know if you can see, I've got some singular ones on the end, but then in the middle, with like a double. So I want the double to be on here, okay? This is three ply, so you need to make sure you peel away three edges of your napkin, okay? So if I show you here, so one, two, three. So all you want is that part of the napkin, okay? If you're not sure how many layers it's got, just check on the napkin packet. It usually says two ply or three ply, all right? Um, and so that is my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut out the bits that I want to keep and work from there, all right? So let me grab my scissors and we can start cutting out the patterns that I'm going to use on my teapot. Right, okay, so you can see there my pattern. Let me just move my lid off my teapot so I don't damage it. So I want to try and get as much of the pattern in as possible. So I'm just looking for the key areas and looks like this is like my key area so let me start cutting now some people do this when they're um putting it on using water but i just find that's just a little bit more complicated for me and i want to get this accurate so let me just Okay, so let me just check this now with my teapot, okay? So I'm gonna rest my teapot down there and just see how much of this I will need. And in fact, I'll just lose some of the flowers at the bottom and a bit of the top, but that is absolutely fine. So I wanna do the same on the other side. So let me just cut the other side out as well. Two identical pieces so I've got my Mod Podge here and I've also got some cling film to help me get the edges out all right so I'm going to use the napkin that I've just discarded from the layers just to give me a bit of support get my brush and to start it off I'm just going to pop a little bit there okay and then I'm just gonna place my first piece on, making sure that I get the flamencos just where I need them, and I have, there we go. 
And all I'm going to do is gently, with my Mod Podge, brushing away from the centre. Okay. Now this Mod Podge even is the gloss. So it gives it a nice finish because the actual ceramic is glossy as well. So I want it to blend in as much as possible. Now because the teapot's not straight, it's not flat, you're going to get a bit of a curve. So you just need to think about where you want that curve to be. So for instance, at the top here, I'm going to push it down there, okay? Just so that you get the plants or the leaves or whatever it is you've got the curve to blend in. And I want my palm leaf this on this bit here. And then I'm just going to push this in. Just take your time with it, it's worth it. Okay. And then you'll see here, it's going to go over, and that's fine. What I am going to do though is take the uh, label off. So I'm just going to push the flowers underneath down as well, because you will see the underside of this when it's hanging. Okay. So once you've got all your areas covered with glue, get your cling film and just rub very gently. What you want to do is to get as many of those creases out, if not all of those creases out as possible. And the reason you use cling film is it stops it ripping as easy. If you use your fingers, you'd rip through the napkin really quick. Okay, and when you're ready, you can start on the other side. Just be careful because your Mod Podge is gonna be still wet. Right, so because this is quite a big surface area, I don't want to do too much in one go because what I don't want to happen is as I'm turning it around, I'm catching the napkin that is already on here that's wet with glue, okay? So what I've done is I've done the main body of it, which you can see. I'm trying to turn it so I don't touch anything that I shouldn't myself. There you go, can you see? So I will be filling the rest of the teapot in, but I'm going to wait for these to dry. So all I'm gonna do is stick this upside down in a bottle just to make sure that the bottom also doesn't get damaged and also the top there. While it's upside down though, what I am going to do is pop a um, flamingo on the bottom just to cover up the Sainsbury's bit. Right, so this has been drying now and I want to run a um, flamenco up the stem of the pot. So I'm just going to pop some more glue there and then get my flamenco right in the middle there we go and then it's easy if you put your hand inside actually this bit um, I have done the bottom as well I don't know if you can see there um, and again just mod podge and then all I'm going to do is go around the rest of the teapot and fill it in with bits of the napkin where I feel the pattern will fit best and it's as simple as that and that's why decoupage is so amazing because there's no right or wrong way of doing it you just build up your picture how you feel you want it to look Right, 
So the teapot is now completely decoupaged and I'm hoping that I've got the flamingos working well. So I've got them on the top here, I've got them each side coming around here. Let me show you. There we go. Oops, that's my shadow. Back out the sun. Right, and so what I need to do now is varnish it so it's waterproof. So I'm going to give it a good spray of some waterproof spray. And then we're ready to make it into a light for the garden. Right, so my teapot has now been completely decoupaged. So it's got flamingos and jungle everywhere. So I now need to make it into a garden ornament. And how I do that, as I said before, you need one of your micro lights from Panland. I've just put some batteries in it, it doesn't come with batteries. And then just need to feed this through. Just got it knotted somehow. She says, right, so I just need to feed this through. And it's easier to do it with the lights on only because you can then see how far you've got. Now, there's five holes. I'm going to go for the middle hole and Lola start to eat now. Okay, so it's a very thin hole. But that's fine, but can you see how it's lit up inside so I can see that it's coming through? Hopefully it should. There we go. Okay. Right, so pull it all the way through as far as you can. Okay. Right, you're going to need to be able to get to your switch, so don't push it through too far, okay? But I'm going to use some electrical tape just to hold it in place. So if you ever need to take it up to change the batteries, you can. I'm just going to, it's easy to take it out and do it like that first. There we go. Okay. Perfect, that's in. Right, so you've got that in, and then you just need to fold it. It doesn't need to be the same size. Different length is perfect because you want it to look like it's tea pouring out. Okay, like so. And then just give it a little twist at the top. Like that. And then just position it so it's like coming down like that. Pop your lid on. And Go and find a nice place in your garden, and I'll show you what it looks like. And there you go, a little garden ornament, which looks like tea being poured out at night. And the lights shine, and Fad has come to see what it's about as well. Right, if you enjoyed that guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click notifications and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!